Welcome to our FMTI system videos. My name is Joe Verhaeg, General Manager, and we'll be showing you how to use our grid analyzer to take fast, accurate strain measurements. FMTI programs are launched by clicking the FMTI icon on the desktop. This brings up a menu so you can select which grids you are measuring. For this video, I'll use circle grids. This brings up the CGA window. To start a new project, press new, type in a name, I'll select demo. The first thing you do in the calibration window is specify the grid size. We're using two millimeter, so I'll specify two millimeter, which will lock the project to metric units. Once the flashing cross appears, the unit is ready to take the, an image. Point the uh, flashing cross to the center of a uh, grid. Press the trigger, which stores the image. The guide at the upper left side acts as a guide. Point to the uh, center of the line. Kind of use that bullseye to get to the middle of the line. To the bottom, then the top. If it looks okay, you press okay. If not, you press the left button and that undoes the last click so you can align it a little better. And then press okay. Specify the line thickness. Set it to about 80%. That looks pretty good. Press okay. And there is the definition of what a two millimeter grid will look like. Press save. You need to take at least two more just to take an average. These, these uh, measurements will be done automatically. So now that we've taken three, we have the option to apply and proceed. This will take us to the material window. Since the grid size was specified in millimeters, the units for the material properties will be metric. Stresses are calculated using material properties. Young's modulus is used for calculating spring back. Nominal thickness is used for a volumetric thickness calculation. Normal anisotropy is used for assessing buckling. Kn and epsilon zero are used for the stress strain curve. These points may be explicitly imported from a text file. The forming limit curve is accessible through this window. The strain limit curve is also accessible through this window. These values may be printed out or reset to a default value. These values may be written to a file or read from a file. Once you hit apply, these values will be saved and you'll be taken to the measurement window. Thank you for watching. If you like more information, please give us a call at 905. 381-0257.